Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. This is Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji, and we're back at you with uh, Splatoon 2. Because y'all know what time it is. Time for a very important announcement before we introduce the stages, right? That's right. The good news. The good news that always catches Marina by surprise. Bad time management. Too smart at many other things. To be fair, this always catches me off guard, too. <laughs> so, I can kind of relate. Too smart at too many things. I mean, I figure we're at different ends of that bell curve, but, you know. <laughs> uh, you got a lot on your plate. I mean, you're collecting... I have every hobbies. Everything a nerd could conceivably collect. Just about getting up there. New hobby every 15 minutes or so. Give or take. Hey, look at that! Ooh. Side with Pearl, you'll have all the time in the world for your hobbies. That's true. Another superpower, huh? Like the hyperbolic time chamber. There you go. Okay, I just want to say I love the art for this one. Oh, it's great. I love the squid with a hat. I was going to say, yeah. Old-timey squid. Teleportation has vibes of, like, Star Trek, which I also appreciate. Sure. Very nerdy. Because it's got the the lines, the, the sparkle effect from the teleporter. Okay, now that's just <laughs> cheating. So Pearl immediately goes to the plot of uh, <laughs> Back to the Future 2. Yep. Go back in time and splat their family. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. Dark. <laughs> Stop Squid Hitler. <laughs> That's... Okay. Alright. Get all the extra snail shells. Yikes. Yeah, no, that's classic Pearl. Of course she's not worried about that. You have to... Actually, understand the <laughs> ramifications of your uh, actions first. We're gonna going with the, I guess, safer option. Safer, more reliable. I gotta say, it, it really depends on what version of time travel we're getting and what version of teleportation. Yeah, there's like three versions of time travel, and only one is good. Yeah. And that one was in Bill and Ted. And that's the one that I subscribed to. That's the one I'm going for. But I always think of, like, all of the teleportation versions where you can end up in a wall. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah. So, I have a hard time getting really excited about teleportation. Uh, just because I think of all of the times where it's written as a... A blind leap of faith through space. I mean, most of, most of space is empty. Well, yeah, sure, but you should still probably just take a peek first. Just a quick look. Yeah. Uh, like, whenever something jumps to hyperspace in movies and stuff, that's basically the same concept. Is like, you don't want to, you know, get too close to a gravity well and get turned inside out. Meanwhile, my first experience with time travel was... Uh... That old episode of Twilight Zone where a guy goes back in time to assassinate Hitler and gets caught by the secret police. Because once you have time travel, you've always had time travel. And if your past isn't already changed. Oh, sure. Where the, the, the version where nothing really matters. Not really. I don't, if you could have changed it, you would. I don't like that one just because it, it means that Nothing matters, like, at all. That's just, that's a big, that's bummer town. Yeah, well, what, what do you... I mean, it still it matters that, you know, stuff happens. But, but it means that you have no free will. Sure you do. Look, if you want to have, if you want to have happy fun times about free will, you don't get to look behind the curtain. <laughs> that's just the rule. Because we're all just clusters of atoms, neurotransmitters, hormones, and chemicals. 
Have fun, kids. <laughs> Yay! Splatoon! I am liking all of the good art that oh, I've yeah. already seen it's posted great, up right? of people uh, picking their uh, their version of things. Yeah. Probably. I haven't seen anyone draw any of the squids as Nightcrawler yet. I feel like that's an untapped market for teleportation squid times. Captain Boji. Hey, I I got I got in trouble the last time I drew something on the Splatoons. <laughs> Okay, instant transmission. That one's pretty good. Also, that is the most furrowed brow I've ever seen on anything. Uh, but yeah, you know, let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, which one you're gonna pick. Uh, help us get some measure of uh, what the what the the spread's gonna be. I think this one's actually gonna be real close. Probably. I, I don't feel like this one is as divisive as some of them. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we hope to see you at the Splatfest.